Hi everyone, welcome back to Felsbrunn. I've been busy through the night. Our canola is fully grown and ready to harvest. Actually, I've already gotten started on the harvest. And uh, I'm just putting in uh, a couple headland rows here. Actually, I think what I'll do this time is uh, I'll put the worker on that. I think I'll just go up and down until we get to the edge of field 11 and then go left to right after that. I think that might be a more efficient way to do this. All right, so the yield is uh, is looking pretty good so far. Um, I've already emptied once. Uh, not a full load, but fairly close to that. Um, now, after the, after the canola started growing, I got uh, some weeds come in. Uh, but they came in during the first growth stage. And I think that's the first time for me on this playthrough. Um, so I took the opportunity and used some of our money to buy a weeder. Uh, which I've put away over here. I got the the medium sized one. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I got this one here. Um, it's got a 12 meter width. It's 12 kph maximum speed. Uh, weeding that whole field took a while. It's uh, it's quite slow. Um, you know, 12 kph is the same. That's the same speed as the sprayers. Um, and these, we've got 24 meters. So it takes twice as long to weed the field with this as it does to apply herbicide. But the nice thing about it is that you don't have to spend any money on on fluids like you do with the herbicide. Uh, and the herbicide is rather expensive. Um, I think we probably use close to, well, I don't know maybe less than 2,000 liters, probably between 1,000 and 2,000 liters every time we apply herbicide to that field. Um, so I think this will pay itself back in the long run, assuming I get a chance to use it more than just every once in a while because um, what we've seen a lot of the time is that the weeds come in um, when it's at too late of a growth stage for me to use the weeder. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that you can only use the weeder during the first growth stage. Um, maybe the second as well. I haven't tried it, but I, I don't know. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking it's first stage only, but we'll see. I'll try to use it um, next time we've got weeds, no matter what stage it's in, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but I know that definitely the final growth stage, you can't use it because the crop is too tall. And when it's ready to harvest, you can't use it either. So, All right, so let's, uh, let's empty this guy out so he doesn't fill up anytime soon. And then we'll see what else we have to work on. Now, unfortunately, buying that... Uh, Buying that weeder uh, precludes me from from buying that bale that bale loader at this point, since we need seventy thousand for that. But um, but as soon as we you know as soon as we sell off a load of this canola, we'll be able to to buy the bale loader. That'll be the next purchase. Um, but then again, the other thing I'm considering is, well, cause, cause what I did is I cut the grass, um, I turned it to hay and I baled it, but I don't have anything to pick it up. So I just left it on the field. So, um, you know, we, we really don't have to pick it up. We can just, we could just come get it off the field when we need hay. Um, but I just won't be able to cut the grass again until I get it out of the way. Um, so the other thing that we might do is maybe I'll just leave it there. Maybe I'll hold off on the bale trailer 
and see if we get enough money to buy field 19. Because if we buy field 19, I can plant that with grass. And that'll give us some more income. But then again, I'm, I'm still going to need the bale loader. Otherwise, the bales won't, you know, I won't be able to sell bales or anything off of field 19 if I don't have the bale loader. Yeah, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should get the bale loader first. Let's check on our animals. All right, so we're still at 100%. We've got plenty of food, straw, and water. Um, I did put in another load of TMR, so we're about half full there. That'll last us for four or five days. Uh, and we've got 3,260 liters of milk, which is not quite half a tank full, but I think it's enough that we can that we can go sell it and um, see what kind of income we can expect from milk. So let's go ahead and do that now. That's something I have not yet done in this game. In 19, I should say. Okay. All right, so the milk, I think we load over here on this side. Yeah, right over here. Okay. Now let's see where we sell it. Okay, so there's a variety of places. Um, best price is at the train station mill, which is to the south of us. Yeah, that's where we've sold a lot of stuff. All right, so let's haul it over there and see what we get. Um, at close to 2,000, I guess we should get we should get five or six thousand for it. Which is not a bad start. It doesn't come close to paying for our investment to get those cows, but, you know, little by little. And, um, and I'm also thinking that maybe, maybe the first few times I sell milk, maybe I should just put the money right back into more cows. We've got 16 now. Um, the reproduction rate did go down. So I think we're looking at, uh, let's see here, 33 hours till our next cow comes in for free. <clears throat> so maybe I'll just buy until we've got 20 cows and then we'll just let the reproductive process take care of the rest. And we'll let it grow up until we get to 50, which is the maximum capacity of the pen. When it gets to 50, then I'll sell a couple and let it grow back. So that way we can continue to take advantage of the, of the reproduction to get the free cows. That'll give us a little extra income as well. A tight turn. All right. Where does the milk go? Is it here? Okay. 
That's a little strange. <laughs> Okay, $6,100, that's not bad. And that's only one day's worth, pretty much. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it to the end of the row here. Yeah, honestly, 6000 a day is, that's not too shabby. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's, once we get things set up, it's mostly passive income, so. We just have to feed them once a while, once in a while clean the pen once or twice a day and then obviously the more cows we have the more milk we're gonna get so now if we got six thousand in a day let's say well we should get even more tomorrow because I didn't have 16 cows the whole time so tomorrow will probably be closer to seven or eight thousand so let's say we get seven let's say we get eight thousand a day with 16 cows and when I have 50 cows, we're probably looking at 20 to 30 grand a day, which is pretty significant. Okay, back to work. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, let's drive back, and with the six thousand dollars, we can buy two more cows. And we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And then once we get to twenty, then we'll just uh, we'll stop buying them, and we'll let we'll let the birds and the bees do the rest for us. Um, I found I found a mod map that uh, that I really like. It's a really beautiful map. It's um, and I don't want to give it away yet, but it's it's converted from FS17, but it's updated with all the you know the new structures and features of 19. Um, now it's it would be PC only because it's not on the mod hub yet. <clears throat> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's even been submitted to get on the mod hub, um, but I'm thinking about perhaps starting a second series on that map. Keep this one going, um, but get that other map going just so we can have a little more variety in what we're doing. Uh, but it's a really beautiful map. That one is also uh, set in Europe. Um, I haven't seen a really good. American style map come out yet um, I know that Stevie is working on one and um, I think what's it called Fenton Fenton something I, f I forget the name of it actually actually I don't think I don't know that his is American style I should I shouldn't say that um, but anyway he is working on a map and I'm eagerly looking forward to that because I love Stevie's maps <clears throat> so as soon as his comes out, I will more than likely uh, start a series on that one. Um, and, I, and I've heard that there are a couple maps that have already been submitted for testing by Giants. So those should be, you know, hopefully in the next few weeks, those maps should be released. And those ought to be available in the Mod Hub for use on console as well. So, 
Um, long story short, I think I think as soon as we have a good map uh, that's released for everyone, um, I'll definitely be starting a new series, probably to replace this one. Um, but I might start a second one in the meantime on that uh, on that PC only map that I was telling you about. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, <clears throat> there's not much to do over here, so let's take a look and see if there's any good contracts. There's fertilizing for 11,000. That appears to be pretty good. Let's take that. We'll fertilize field 12. I'll use my own equipment. All right, let's disconnect this again. We're going to throw in the front weight. Now for 11 grand, I'm assuming that field 12 is one of the bigger ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the one just to the north of us. All right, so we should be able to get that whole field done with about 2,000 fertilizer. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, you can see my spreader is pretty dirty. <laughs> we'll have to clean it and do some maintenance on it after this one. Okay, I've got 1329 in here. I think I'll probably need a bit more. So let's let's add a little bit more to the tank here. There we go. Actually would like to own field 12 at some point. Whoa. Uh, you may have noticed over on field 20, there's actually one straw bale. Um, <clears throat> and that's because my baler was, my baler still had about 3,000 liters of straw in it from the last time I used it. So, um, so even though I was adding hay to it, the first bale that came out was, was straw, which was uh, kind of unfortunate. Okay, well, the field's covered with crops, so I'm going to have a hard time seeing what I'm doing. So I think we'll probably have to use the worker for this. Let's get the worker started. Uh, probably could have gotten over a little bit more, but that's okay. We might be able to do it. it it's a little hard to see where you've been already. Um, that's... It'd be nice if there was some other sort of visual cue that we could use, but um, anyway, that's that's how it is. All right, so I'm just going to stop it there, and that way I won't have to. That way I won't have to move it while I get it unloaded, and then I can just put the worker right back on it. Um, in some of my other games, I've been starting with a bigger harvester from the beginning. Because um, the, the only thing I don't like about this harvester is that the grain tank is so small that it, it really requires a lot of attention. Um, on some of my other games, I've been starting with this, uh, with this Massey Ferguson. You know, which costs twice as much, uh, but it's got it's got a wider header, has a twenty five foot header, which I guess is somewhere around eight meters, um, which is about fifty percent bigger than the one on the Nova. Let's see. Yeah, that's five meters versus seven point six. Yeah, so it's about fifty percent bigger. Um, and the grain tank is uh, a lot larger too. It's 8,600, almost twice as big. So 
you really get almost twice as much combine for twice the price, which seems to make it a, a decent value. <clears throat> um, but what I found is spending that additional 100000 or so at the beginning of the game um, doesn't seem to hurt too badly. You know, there might be might be one or two bits of equipment that you would have to hold off on, but um, it seems like that's a good way to go because uh, the harvesters are so expensive that if you wait to upgrade one, it's going to take quite a while. You know, and this one is not is not worth a whole lot of money at this point. Fifty one thousand, fifty two thousand for the harvester and 16 for the header. So, you know, if I sold it, I wouldn't even be able to pay for half of the new one. Um, but in any case, I think that'll be a, a good, this will be a good upgrade candidate at some point. Um, <laughs> now, the other thing you could do is you could just buy another one of these and have two, two Novas. So you'll be able to harvest twice as fast, but then you'll be I think you'll be pretty much full time just running around with your green cart to keep them emptied. All right, I'm gonna try to take over for the worker here. See if I can keep it straight. Actually, uh, with the row crops, it's not too bad to keep it straight. I just need to keep the center of my hood. That little, that little indicator on the end. Just need to keep it in the middle of these two rows and I'll be fine. This is where in-cab really helps a lot. And then when I get close to the end, I'll put the worker on it, let him turn it around, and then I'll take over again. Even though the workers turn around at a just glacial pace and then they get up to the field all lined up and then they'll stop and then go <laughs> all right so this is me now so we need to keep it in the middle of these two rows yeah and it looks like uh it looks like 2,000 liters of fertilizer will easily cover it. We're probably close to halfway done right now. I'm afraid to look away because I don't want to get off my line. But it looks like we're about halfway done or so. Still plenty left. Yeah, so let me know uh, what you all think about doing a second series on a PC only map if that's something you would like to see or if you would prefer to see me devote all my attention to this map that would be fine too I can always just play the other map in my spare time I'm off work now for a while because of the holidays so uh, I'll have some extra time to play and Hopefully get <clears throat> get a few more videos done. Um, these days, I'm typically I'm typically recording the next day's episode, um, but I I feel a lot better when I have like two or three episodes already recorded, uh, so that if I have you know if something comes up at work or I get busy with something. Um, I won't miss a day if I don't get a chance to record, you know, I'll just need to, I'll just need to upload. Um, but I am doing two games at the same time right now, two different series, which is a little, a little more work than I normally put upon myself. And, um, it's been a bit of a challenge, but I'm enjoying it. Now, if I do start a second series on farm sim, then I would probably just be alternating between the two. You know, I, I'm not going to be able to 
for sure I won't be able to do three videos a day. Um, I just, even if I had the time, I don't think my family will have the tolerance to, uh, to let me hide out in my, in my office for three hours a day. So, and that's, that's about what it takes <clears throat> to do it. Um, you know, a 30 minute episode, if I spend, I mean, at least an hour, because usually I do a little bit of prep work in advance, you know, and then there's the recording itself and then, and then I need to edit it. Um, I don't do a lot in the way of editing, but I do process the audio and, you know, re-encode it and everything. Okay. Contract's done. Let's collect our cash. Thank you very much. All right. Don't see any other good ones right now. And we're about ready to unload again. Looks like we might be able to make it to the end. Yeah, awesome. That way we won't have to turn it around. And I feel good about the decision to start this playthrough with no house. Um, <laughs> that 350 grand really got us a lot, a lot more field than we would have had otherwise. And honestly, I don't, I don't really miss, I don't really miss the ability to fast forward through night. Cause I can always just, I can always just set the time on fast, you know, like on 60 or 120 and do a couple contracts and then it's morning again. So, um, yeah, so I, I definitely don't, don't miss having the house. I don't do much night work on camera just because it's, you know, once by the time the video gets compressed a couple times and uh, streamed on YouTube. It's um, sometimes hard to see what's going on. All right. Well, let's get this uh, let's get this spreader back and get it repaired and cleaned up. Ready for its next job. And then maybe we can mix up another load of mixed ration. I'd like to get that feeding trough close to full so that we can forget about it for a little while. Again, it'll still last a few days, but uh, it'd be nice to top it off. Oh, I forgot to buy my cows, didn't I? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll park this here for now so we can clean it up. Then we'll go over here and order our cows. All right. So we've got 16. We want black and white. One, two. That'll eat up most of the 6,000 that we made. There we go. So now we have 18 and... They all get added to the same gene pool, so we should see our uh, reproduction rate drop again. Uh, we're looking at 33 hours to the next one, but uh, again, it'll be it'll be less than that the next time this thing updates, having the additional cows. All right, so let's wash this thing up and then uh, take it over to the workshop and repair it. This does get quite a bit of use. OK, 
Okay, and we'll touch up the tractor too. It's already pretty clean. And how about our front weight? It's got a little dirt on it. And it's not getting any cleaner. All right, I guess it's already fully clean. Okay, that's not what I wanted to repair, but we have to do it. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Well, I think we're all set. Um, I'm going to continue this harvest until it's complete. And uh, in the next episode, we'll sell it off and then we'll decide what to do with the money. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.